I'm Jamie Gilbert, Executive Director of Queen Anne's County Department of Economic Development. I'm here today to introduce to the citizens of Queen Anne's County a brand new program that we have that we think will uh, do a couple of different things. It will help existing businesses and new companies save money with their construction costs, but it will also do a lot of really good things for our environment as well. Today, I have three folks here that have been instrumental in getting this program started in Queen Anne's County. I'm here with Kathy Magruder, who is Executive Director of the Maryland Clean Energy Center. I'm also here with ne Gerard Neely, who is the manager of the Maryland Commercial PACE Program, and Genevieve Sherman, who is the managing director of PACE Financial Servicing. And folks, welcome to Queen Anne's County. Thank you so much for helping us get this property assessment clean energy program started. Kathy, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Maryland Clean Energy Center's role in getting this program in Maryland and helping to bring it to Queen Anne's County? Of course. Thank you, Jamie. We're glad to be here today. So the Maryland Clean Energy Center is an instrumentality of state that was created by the General Assembly in 2008 to advance the adoption of clean energy product services and technologies. This is all part of us meeting our um, re renewable portfolio standard goals, the adoption of renewable energy, demand reduction or redu reduction of energy consumption goals, and our greenhouse gas reduction goals. But what we're trying to do with this financing program is bring affordable capital to commercial property owners to make energy improvements on their properties to reduce their energy costs and to help them contribute to a cleaner energy future. Maryland Clean Energy Center is in working in a partnership with Pace Financial Servicing to administer the program. I want to congratulate the Queen Anne's County Commissioners and you for Queen Anne's County being the third county in the state to pass the ordinance and stand up a program along with Montgomery and Anne Arundel. Um, so leadership and vision on your part. We are ready to rock in Queen Anne's County. We have uh, program administration in place and Genevieve and Gerard are here today to talk a little bit about how it works specifically for your property owners. Fantastic, thank you, Kathy. Genevieve, give us a brief overview of what the Property Assessment Clean Energy Program is. Great, well thank you so much for hosting us today. Um, before I launch into some of the benefits of PACE, I thought we would roll a video that we made that explains at a high level how PACE and works it is for a great property video. owners <laughs> here in Queen Anne's County. Making your building more energy efficient increases its value, but may be hard to pay for. Now, PACE financing may just be the answer. PACE funding covers the full cost of your project with a repayment plan that works for you. PACE helps commercial building owners increase their bottom line by lowering energy costs. You can use PACE to upgrade lighting, heating, and cooling systems, insulation, motors, and water pumps, or add solar panels and other technologies that produce energy. Here's how it works. Contact your local PACE program. They can help you find a contractor and figure out which energy upgrades make sense. They'll also arrange 100% financing that you can repay for up to 20 years with an assessment added to your property tax bill. Energy savings each year will more than offset your assessment payments. Like other property taxes, PACE assessments transfer to the new owner if you sell your building, and under most leases, can be shared with tenants. PACE works for just about any type of property – commercial, industrial, agricultural, and nonprofits. Many multifamily properties are eligible as well. And if you're an energy services contractor, PACE funding might just make the difference in winning a job. Ready to get started? PACE can help you pay for energy efficient and renewable energy upgrades to your building. Contact your local PACE program today. Gerard, the, the energy improvements that are available to commercial property owners, this can be both for an, an existing business that's, that's expanding or brand new construction. Tell us a little bit about what types of improvements are eligible for PACE financing. Yes, that's a great question, Jamie. Um, so basically any type of energy savings measure or water conservation measure is going to qualify for this program. So an example would be solar panels would definitely be something that would qualify, HVAC upgrades, building envelope upgrades, um, you know. Energy well. management technologies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really anything that reduces the energy consumption or cost in a building. So if a company, a brand new facility wants to put in geothermal, that's something that would be eligible. Exactly. Correct. Right. 
Genevieve, why is the PACE program beneficial to both commercial property owners and the community at large? Sure. Well, so as you saw in the video, there are a lot of benefits to PACE. PACE is really a custom-tailored financial tool for commercial property owners to upgrade their buildings, whether they're installing renewable energy or geothermal, or if they just have a bunch of deferred maintenance they need to take care of, old boilers, HVAC systems. Most property owners don't make these improvements in their buildings because they're very expensive. Mm -hmm. And it's usually not a property owner's biggest priority, actually, to put in a new boiler. They'd rather invest their money in a core business opportunity. So PACE is really custom tailored to make these improvements easy and affordable, kind of a no-brainer for them. And so the financing, the terms are very attractive. That's right. The terms are very attractive. And the reason is because of the structure of PACE, which you heard about in that video. Mm -hmm. Essentially, when you use the PACE program, you're getting all of the cash you need up front to improve your building. So unlike a typical loan where you've got to come out of pocket, you know, 10, 15%, mm -hmm. with PACE, all of the cash is made available to you to upgrade whatever you need in your building that reduces the cost of operating that building. And then you pay it back over a very long period of time, right. up to 20, maybe even longer years. Right, so it's 100% financing. 100% financing, long terms, mm -hmm. fixed rates, fixed payments. And what that means for a property owner is they have no out-of-pocket cost, and each year they're saving more in utility and maintenance costs than they're spending with this incremental surcharge that's added to their property taxes. Right. So in essence, they're net cash positive. This is a revenue generating opportunity for them. It's no out of pocket costs, it's no risk. So it's a very attractive way for a building owner to actually upgrade their building and stop you know, duct taping the equipment together to kind of make sure the building can operate. Oh, it's a fantastic program, there's no doubt about it. Um, I guess if you're a property owner and you're thinking about replacing your HVAC system or any kind of, of energy efficiency improvements, what is the process? How do they apply for funding from the PACE program to do this? Great question. So depending on whether a property owner already is working with an energy contractor, mm -hmm. um, and I think Gerard will tell us a little bit about how we um, register contractors in our mm -hmm. program, the first thing we want to do for a building owner is make sure they know what it is they want to do in their building. Mm -hmm. So if they come to the PACE program and say, you know what, I'm interested in solar, I don't even know where to start. Well, then we'll help them get started with finding a qualified solar installer that can come check out the building, look at the roof, you know, if there are any trees around, and give them a sense of what's possible on the building, what makes economic sense mm -hmm. um, for that business. Once they've decided, okay, I'm going to build this solar system on my roof, they come back to us with an application that basically says, you know, my name is this, I own the property located at this address, here are the improvements I'd like to do in my building, mm -hmm. um, I've secured financing, private financing through a registered PACE lender, um, and they submit that all in a package to, to us, to Gerard and I. We review that application to make sure the project complies with the ordinance that was passed here in Queen Anne's County, mm -hmm. which just basically makes sure that the project makes sense. We don't want to put our buildings here underwater. We want to make sure these are projects that really improve the value and cash flow in the building. So let me ask you a quick question then. Uh, a lot of times we hear, you know, when we're talking about other financing programs, whether they be a state or a federal program, the length of time it takes from, you know, to get the approval with the PACE program, typically on an average, what's the length of time from the t from submittal of the application to actually being approved for the financing? Great question. So it's very quick. Uh, PACE Financial Servicing, our background is in designing and launching these PACE programs. And we build our PACE programs for scale, which is to say we want to give energy contractors and building owners all the information they need mm -hmm. to submit applications to us that we can turn around really quickly. So our website, um, which is www.md-pace.com, mm -hmm. has the program's guidelines on it. 
It has an application form that you can already use. It's all ready to go. So we've designed the full application to make it very clear and simple what a building owner needs to do and submit to us for our approval, which can be done in a matter of a week or two. And, and if I'm correct, in, in discussions we've had before, one of the great advantages of the PACE program is that when you go for other types of, of financing, you know, there's a whole laundry list of items that you need, but because this is an assessment on the property, it really reduces the amount of paperwork and what has to be submitted by the applicant. That's right. So one of the unique things about PACE is that this is private financing. Mm -hmm. So this capital isn't coming from the county. It's not taxpayer money. Property owners here in the county can link up with a registered lender in our program, and they're negotiating those loan terms mm -hmm. on the side. Fantastic. What they're submitting to us is a, is a basic package of documents that basically verifies that they're the legal owner of the property, right. that they are um, agreeing to enter into this loan and have this special a surcharge added to their property tax right. bill. Um, that's what we need to know to make sure that the project complies with uh, the ordinance here in the county. It also gives us the information we need to then go to the county's finance department mm -hmm. and make sure the right number is right. added to the property tax right. bill so we're not overcharging your, your businesses. And that's kind of the limitations of what we do here in the county. Right. And Jamie, I, I'd just like to mention that uh, Maryland, the Maryland program, we've wanted to be sure that this was an open platform so that multiple lenders and multiple contractors could participate. So on the website that Genevieve just mentioned, you'll also find the opportunity for capital providers to apply to be listed as an accredited lender um, or a qualified lender on our in our program, and then also for contractors. So we, we see that as a business development opportunity as well. Absolutely. And would encourage your local banks and um, your local contractors to get on the website and get registered as a provider right. for Absolutely. customers. And that was my next question, so and Gerard, Help me out with this. If we have a lot of local general contractors here in the county and, and folks that provide you know, HVAC work and things like that, if you're a local general contractor here in Queen Anne's County, how do you get involved in this program and get registered as, as an approved contractor that knows how the program works and it can help construction and for, for projects here in the county? Good question. You know, local contractors are very important to the success of the MD PACE program and also pumping economic activity into the county. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to make sure we get as many local contractors involved in this program as possible. Uh, I would encourage you to go to mdp/pace.com and like Kathy said, there is a registration form under the contractor right. uh, tab on that website. And, and I think one of the things we are definitely going to be doing in the next few months to really get our local contractors involved is we will be putting on a, 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 a meeting and, and forum with general contractors here in the county to educate them on how the program works and how they can offer these services and make uh, you know their clients aware that there's a great tool out there that can help them lower costs and also do some really good things for the environment. So thank you and we look forward to, to, to rolling that meeting out and hosting it uh, in the next uh, couple months. Yeah, we, we do as well. Uh, one of the things that we really love are these training sessions, these workshops with mm -hmm. contractors. Um, they're always free for contractors to attend, and they're usually a couple hours. And what we really like to do there is just walk these general contractors or HVAC firms through the program. How does it work? How do you apply? But we also want to help them sell this to their clients. That's right. We want to help show them how you bring this type of financing behind the technologies and services these companies are out there selling every day. And I think what's important for our local general contractors that may want to participate in this is understanding that this is not just a program now in Queen Anne's County. As Kathy mentioned earlier, it's in Montgomery County, it's in Anne Arundel, and there are, are a number of other additional <laughs> counties in Maryland that are now looking to participate in this program. So now that opens up the door for a lot of projects throughout the state of Maryland. That's absolutely right. And when contractors register with the MD PACE program, it gives them a license to be registered in our program in any county that's operating throughout the state. Very good, very good. So, great program, final thoughts? Glad to be uh, here in Queen Anne's County and look forward to your first PACE program. Fantastic. Thank you all.
To learn more about the Maryland Commercial PACE program, you can call 203-357-5404 or email info at md-pace.com. To find out more about economic development in Queen Anne's County, call Gene Fabie at 410-604-2100 or go online to qac.org and search economic development.